Hello everyone, this is your Lekkalu Mastaru Haragopal. In this video, I am going to discuss the solution of one of the most beautiful Olympiad level geometry problem, which is based on only one theorem that is called as Menelaus theorem. Usually, this theorem won't appear in academic side syllabus, that is why most of us are unfamiliar with this theorem. So, first, let me discuss something about Menelaus theorem, then we'll move for the problem and solution. Just to consider a triangle A, B, C, any orbitary triangle. Now, for this triangle, if you are able to draw a transversal which divides all the three sides at three different points. For example, if you draw a line PQR, something like this, which divides AB at P, AC at Q and BC produced at R. So, then PQR will be considered as transversal. Then AP by PQ into BR by RC into CQ by QA. Product of all these three ratios will be always equal to 1. This was the Manalas theorem. Most simple and most powerful theorem in so many different geometry problems of Olympiad level. We use this theorem to solve that problem. That is why this is simple and most powerful theorem it is. So with the help of only this theorem we are going to solve this problem. So without wasting time let me introduce the question first of all. So let me erase this. So consider a triangle A, B, C. ABC is any arbitrary triangle. Now, on BC, two points P and Q were taken such that P and Q trisect the side BC. What do you mean by trisecting? BP equal to PQ equal to QC. That is why P and Q will be considered as trisection point. Similarly, or a point was taken on side AC such that or bisects AC. What do you mean by that? R is going to be the midpoint. So, P and Q are trisection points. R is the midpoint. Now, AP, AQ were joined. Similarly, B, R was also joined. Then what they are asking? In what ratio these two lines, AP and AQ, divides the line B, R? So, what do you mean by that one? Suppose if I consider these two points are something like S and T, then what they are asking? What is the ratio of BT is to TS is to SR. So, you are supposed to find out the ratio of these three segments. This is what we are supposed to find. So, interestingly, with the help of Manalas theorem only, we can solve this problem. So, just have a look. For our calculation comfortness, just let me assume this has something X. Then this is also going to be XPQ and this is also something going to be X. So, PP equal to PQ equal to QC. That is why I am considering as X, X, X. Then the total length of BC is going to be 3X. Similarly, whatever the two different parts which are equal to each other, you can see here. AR and RC, let me consider as Y and Y. Now, whatever the different parts you can see of this BR, let me consider as A, B, C, something like that. We are supposed to find out the numerical values of A, B, C. So now, if you have a look, there are so many different triangles were there in this particular triangle. But observe carefully, I am considering triangle B, R, C. For this triangle B, R, C, first of all, let me consider Q, A as a transversal. Just to let me separate this one and make it something. Have a look here. So clearly you can see the triangle B, R, C and Q, A as a transversal. So simply you can apply Manalas theorem in this particular situation. So what you are going to get if you apply Manalas theorem here? B, Q by Q, C into C, A by A, R into R, S by S, B equal to 1. So simply with the help of Menelaus theorem you can understand this one. So just I am substituting the values here. So what you are going to get a 2x by x into 2y by y into c by a plus b. On simplification what you are going to get c by a plus b equal to 1 by 4. If you do cross multiplication you are going to get a plus b equal to 4c. Let me make it as a equation 1. So from this diagram we got this relation between A, B, C. Similarly, in the same diagram, if you consider the same triangle again, B, R, C. Now, let me consider P, A as transversal. So, let me separate this one. Observe this carefully. So, in this particular figure also, you can apply Manalas theorem for the same triangle. But here, the transversal is different. So, if you apply Manalas theorem here, what you are going to get? Observe carefully. In triangle B, R, C, let me write as P, A as transversal. Then, what you are going to get? BP by PC into CA by AR into 
or t by t b equal to 1 just I'm substituting the values what you are going to get on substituting the values on simplification we are going to get b plus c equal to a then make it as equation 2 here a plus b equal to 4c and b plus c equal to a we got two different equations as here so here whatever we got b plus c equal to a i'm substituting in equation one if you do substitution what you are going to get you are going to get the relationship or ratio between b and c so b is to c equal to 3 is to 2 we get from this ratio you can get the value of b in terms of c or value of c in terms of b also just here i'm concentrating writing the value of c in terms of b if you write you are going to get c equal to 2b by 3 c equal to 2b by 3 if you do substitute in second equation whatever we got b plus c equal to a if you do substitute then you are going to get the ratio between a and b so you are going to get a is to b equal to 5 is to 3 what we got b is to c equal to 3 is to 2 we got and a is to b equal to 5 is to 3 so from these two you can get the ratio between a is to b is to c what you are going to get a is to b is to c equal to 5 is to 3 is to 2 this is the required ratio of whatever that they asked in the diagram. So my dear children, with the help of only one theorem that is called Manalas theorem, we can understand the solution. So interesting and so beautiful solution it is for this problem. Hope you enjoyed this entire problem. In the next video, we will meet with another interesting problem. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. You are like Kalamastaru Haragopal.